Hello guys, this is Traz, and I finally set myself up a single player world to do little redstone things on or whatever. Um, it is uh, a top layer, all one layer of grass blocks, and then a uh, hundred layers of sandstone, because I'm weird. Smooth sandstone. Yeah, smooth sandstone. Uh, sandstone. Anyway, uh, today I am going to show you this randomizer I came up with. I needed a randomizer. I didn't like some of the ones that were out there already, and I needed one for the map um, we've been working on. And here we go. It is a villager spawner here. And it ha it's a custom villager spawner, obviously custom, because you can't have cu villagers in a spawner. It has a radius of three, so one, two, three, and it spawns. It spawns a villager in one of these random four spots. Uh, after I push this button, it spawned the villager there. Then the as, as soon as he did, the he spawned on these pressure plates, sending the signal back up here to push the pistons back down to block off the spawner from spawning anywhere, and re-triggering this RS nor latch here and keeping it back down. So this just disables that and lifts, lifts the pistons up, and it's really quick most of the time. I could probably fine-tune the spawner to spawn a little bit faster. I had it spawning really fast, and I wasn't sure if it would overlap, but I got the the signal for, to go da from down here to up here fast enough that it probably wouldn't mess with it. But the, uh, the pulse is uh, random every time, so just keep hitting this. There it is. And it, it, again, it's really quick. It's also seems to be. I've tested it a lot. It seems to be really reliable. Again, it could probably use a little bit of fine tuning on the timings. I could probably get it down a little bit faster. Um, if I had only one spot available, right now I have like four pads here. If I only have one spot, it he doesn't. I don't know, it's, it's harder to get them to spawn there. It takes longer, because it's checking the, the whole area for spawning, I guess. I don't know how it works, but um, with the with four spots available, he spawns, it seems to spawn really quick. So, let's see. The other thing is, you might see, notice that it's off-center off here. Now... The center of where, like, the center of where the spawner is spawning at is not this block. It is not right there. It is not that spot. It is actually the center, or it's actually the corner of the, the spawner that is at the positive coordinates. So, or negative coordinates. So, this is x negative, this is z negative. So that corner of the spawner is actually the center of the spot here. So that so we could ignore the spawner here, and it has a radius of three. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three on all sides here. So this thing is kind of directional based. Uh, this. I mean, I'll have this up as a schematic, but this is, you can copy-paste this, and it'll keep the direction. But if you rotate it, you're going to have to move the spawner to one of these other three spots, depending on the direction it's at, if you wanted to face it a different way or something. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, a spawner picks, uh, it kind of evenly, random, puts a puts the mob in a random spot evenly around it so having them set up like in each of these four spots like this should pretty much be random completely random and I guess that's it I'll put the schematic up for download if you want to check it out um, 
this one's a four signal. Actually, what you can also do is hook these up like this, and just then it'll be then it'll just be you can just hook that up like that and have a whole line of them right here, and then it'll just be two. Or you can just get rid of one of these pads altogether, and or you know two of these pads altogether, and it'll just be. It's you can have anywhere from two to four with this, and you could expand it outward probably. Um, I haven't fiddled with that yet. I only needed four uh, random number, four random numbers here, so you could probably just do extra pads like this. But it's gonna have to evenly be spaced out to get the the randomness um, the same all around. So it kind of you kind of have to have symmetrical pads on either side to keep your random your random number and yeah okay that's it thanks for watching bye guys